In 1994, Lake Orion held its last daytime Christmas parade due to poor attendance and low participation. Organizers decided to try a nighttime lighted parade in 1995, and it was a huge success. Since then, the Orion Lighted Christmas Parade has gotten bigger and better every year, due in large part to an annual fundraiser that brings the community together. On the evening of Friday, December 1st, an estimated 400 community members gathered at Golling View at GMC in Orion Township for the 17th annual Holly Jolly Folly. Local businesses and community groups donated items for a silent auction in the dealership showroom, and attendees enjoyed an evening of music and food courtesy of Italia Gardens. It was great. I mean, the, the crew here, 9 o'clock this morning, we were already gunned up, ready to go. Everybody was excited. All the employees helped out, did everything we could do. We got a great crowd here again tonight, and we got a great band. And we got the Lake Orion Choir, and we got a great band tonight. Food's great from Italian Garden, so I look forward to this. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of work, but we look forward to doing this, and um, it's like a wedding. Every year we just keep doing it better and better, and I give all the credit to Bill Cocainus and his wonderful group of people who put this thing on, but we got a great band tonight, uh, Power Play Detroit, which was voted the number one up-and-coming band in Detroit, pop band, and they're just, they're phenomenal, so that's, we're really excited about having them. Obviously, we've got our silent auction, and we've got a, the full-blown meal and everything else that's going on here, and we're just looking forward to a really great night. The annual fundraiser helps make the Orion Lighted Parade one of the biggest and best parades in the state, if not the country. For the community, you know, we just, we uh, want to try to give back and, and, you know, this time of year it's all about the kids. And so if we can help put on the biggest and best lighted parade in the state of Michigan, we think that's a big deal. Um, we have some influence over the children in the community. Thank you very much. This community does and comes through for every charity around here and this is a great group there's a lot of people I've never seen here before so I, it's, it's a great thing and it's a great way to start the holiday season. 24 hours later thousands of residents from in and around Lake Orion lined the streets of the downtown area for the Orion Lighted Parade. Approximately 70 parade entries gathered at Blank Sims Elementary School and made their way into the heart of the village at 6 p.m. The parade passed the main stage at Front Street and Broadway, where John Cooper and Rock and Ronnie provided the commentary. The grand marshals of this year's parade were Lloyd and Kathy Coe, who own Ed's Broadway gift and costume located on the corner of Flint and Broadway. The Coes provide the costumes for many of the colorful characters that greet the families lined up along the route. The citizen of the year was Jerry Norsh, who served the community as police chief for almost 40 years before retiring and is currently the village council president. The parade featured colorful floats, marching bands, community groups, and military vehicles, and ran just over an hour, concluding, as always, with Santa and Mrs. Claus bringing up the rear. So wonderful. So happy to have you here. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Santa and Mrs. Claus. Thank you for all you do for all the kids. Merry Christmas, Santa. We'll see you at the Santa Tin. After the parade was over, families were encouraged to head over to a tent set up at Broadway and Chatbolt to meet up with Santa, Mrs. Claus, and Rudolph for a photo opportunity and to share their Christmas wish list. It brings everybody together. It brings 7,000 people who come down to view it, and then it brings another 100 or not 100,000 people that are probably participating or working it or doing whatever. That's a lot of people in one time for one night for three hours. And I think that I've had a lot of people tell me, even when I'm walking up and down the street, that this parade, this event, starts their holiday season. And it makes them want to get into the holidays. And as we do every year, ONTV had a TV crew at the parade to record it in its entirety. Look for the parade to air on Comcast and AT&T, as well as on YouTube and the ONTV website at orionontv.org.